Today I'm gonna show you how to do a red envelope lanterns. All we need is 12 red envelopes and a stapler. So why is red envelopes? Because in Lunar New Year, a lot of people are getting um, red envelopes as a lucky money, pocket money. And the red envelope is pretty new. All of them are used, but of course, no money. So we save it for all these years and it's still pretty new, right? We just don't want to throw it away um, and some of them um, with a special year. So you don't want to just throw it away or reuse it. So what you can do is be creative with this and they make an idea with red envelope lanterns. It's pretty, it's kind of like recyclable and you don't need glue, you don't need tape, all you need is a stapler. So here I also have string and also the accessory. This is whatever you can find at home. Um, it is not necessary to have accessory, it's just for pretty purpose. Um, the string, whatever string you can find, um, of course anything red matches the red will be great, but if not, that's okay. So. During this session, I'm going to do one um, red envelope lanterns with you. And it is this, basically the same idea. You can always use something like a long, um, a longer shape red envelopes. Sorry. Um, but with a longer shape, you will just need to expect the gap in between the red, um, the lanterns. It's a little bigger. The hole, a li the hole is a little bigger. And also... Um, the lantern itself is bigger, but everything else is just the same. So let's start it. So what I'm gonna show you is we are using these lanterns to fold in a certain shape and then we're gonna staple them together. So what we need to do is put it sideways with the red envelope. If, if any red envelope is open-ended, close it. And then this is the front, this is the front, and this is the back. So front sh goes up, and all you need to do sideways and fold it in half. You don't need to do really hard, just because uh, we just wanted it shape in a certain way. We don't want it to be um, fully closed. As long as you got a middle line here, you're and then open it up, you're good. So the next step is, you see if we have four corner. All you need to do is fold it in and the side line right here, you're gonna aim to the middle line right there. And you need to do all four sides. So what end up you're gonna get? Here you're gonna arrow, right? And then the other side you're gonna do the same. And what you need to do is you need to do all 12 of them. But I'm going to show you four at a time. So keep continue making the middle line. If you are good enough, you don't need a middle line to, to aim for your arrows. That's fine. Um, it just help you better and also... When the red envelope shape, it's gonna shape a little bit um, different. So I would more encourage you to fold it in half and then aim it on the line. But let me show you in another way. Like this, if I don't have a middle line, I might have to do both hands together and then to aim the middle. Because both triangles, both triangles are supposed to be the same size. So, so when they meet in the middle, it's supposed to the middle line. But this one, I didn't fold in half at the beginning. You see that, right? So you might have to, you might get a little skills for this. So the triangle, both sides are supposed to be the same. And then you aim it to the middle together. And when once they meet, then this is the middle of the red envelope. Yes. It's pretty close, right? So now we got the first four done. 
I, I did one ahead so before so you probably a little slower than I do but it's okay <laughs> so um, red envelope you can see have different colors um, I'm using approximate the same shape over here um, you're gonna design or you're gonna decide what kind of color goes the top bottom and end so I'm gonna show you here how to put them together so you got the first four done right and then what you need to do is two of these corner you're gonna staple them together just staple the anything doesn't have to be really perfect um, angle so as long as you staple these two corner together you're good and then the next I'm gonna pick this because you can even see these two design the same and this two design is the same so what I'm gonna do is end up I'm gonna have my design is this two is the same design and this two is the same design they balance but um, if you are having new envelopes to play with your kids or family or um, showing your friends doesn't matter you, you can have all of them the same shape but as I said this is my um, old inventory red envelopes from all these years and then so you're gonna add one at a time and then you're gonna have four of them together so we had the first two together and then I add one more and now I'm adding one more and then come back to a circle and join this corner so I'm gonna do the third I mean the fourth and then come back to the sorry the third and then come back to the fourth right here there you go so you see my stapler are not really perfect but it's okay and you can see there is a gap so as I said here is gonna be a gap too so if you're using those you know um, long envelope and then once you fold the gap is gonna be longer instead of just like this right now you know that's that's the compare so this is gonna be the top and I already done my bottom too so what you need to do is exact another four join them in the bottom so this is the top this is the bottom and I'm still missing one more one more layer I'm missing the side so what you need to do is okay you have four you have one um, set over here and another set over here four four and you have eight already and another four is right here what you're gonna do so you can see so pick 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 a side pick a side and then this envelope not gonna be go straight it's gonna go sideways and it's the front the sorry the head sorry the top and the bottom I should put it this way is supposed to be the bottom of each red envelopes so let me show you see so this one is straight but this one goes sideways and the top and the bottom join with each of these envelopes bottom same of the other sides so So you can see I'm trying to find some you know similar colored um, red envelopes all together in one layer or you can find all of them are the closer red together and that's okay you can see this this red is probably darker than this red but it doesn't matter as long as it looks good and then my last one right here so you can see these, the second layer red envelopes, all of them are not stabling with each other. They stabling from the top layer, right? And now you have half of them done. And then I told you, this is my bottom. And what I'm gonna do with this bottom, I'm gonna flip it over and then is technically doing the same thing so join with this envelope the sideway envelopes 
this top joined with the other one's bottom. And then here should have eight corners. Staple them. To, so if if you are didn't have a middle line, the the red envelope here might not have a pointy um, end. Might just have a curve. Doesn't matter as long as you like it. As long as it's, um, it might be kind of like look a little rounder or uh, bigger. Um, as long as you like it or as long as um, you think it looks good. But of course, having the middle line is actually easier to aim and easier to, you know, um, look for the direction. So again, so technically you put them together, they, probably, they are already next to each other. You technically just need to staple them. So again, so you finish the first half of the top. So these two red envelopes are supposed to go in the middle of this. And here's my last corner. Okay, perfect. So you got a perfect round red envelope. Lantern. Um, we're not going to put light in it because it's very easy to... Uh, burn. However, but if you have something like a um, um, digital or light lighting candle, you might create something in the bottom and then and then hold the candle inside of your red envelope. But this lantern is a shape of it. You, um, it's pretty to just to put on the wall decoration. It's not for um, not aim for putting a. Uh, fi on fire candle in it. So I mentioned um, you can add string and also accessory. Accessory I'm gonna put in the bottom and then the sh another string I'm gonna put in the top. So what I need to do is I just need any any length just good enough to put it on top. So I'm going to make a longer one. And here. So what I'm going to do is after I cut it out, I make a small knot at the end on both sides. Again, you're going to need a stapler. That's all you need. So you see two knots on each side, this one string. And then as I mentioned, the fish right here, the horse right here, is going to be my top, right? So what I need to do, you can either put it outside right here, or you put it inside the envelope. So just open it up a little bit, and all you need is a stapler again. Of course, this stapler is a little bit fat. It's kind of hard to put in. Especially, we have very, very pointy um, end on the top right there. So all you need is make sure your stapler fit in, and then put oops, I aim it on the other side. There we go. Okay, so make sure the stapler is stapled on the rope or the string, and same as the other side. As long as you can do, um, I mean, sorry, as long as the length is good for you. Doesn't matter how long or how short. So here you go. This is the top of the lantern. In the bottom, I mentioned I want to add accessory. How? I'm gonna do a short, shorter string right there. And then gonna do the same. Staple each side. 
But however, before I do the second weight side, I'm gonna put the accessory in on the string. Gonna put my accessory down here, go through this red rope. And then, oops, and then stable this. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna get a. Here you go. Da 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 da. You can hang it on the wall. You can um, hang on a on a door, but probably gonna balance it out one on each side. And the red envelope lantern is done. Thank you for watching, and hope you think this idea is great. And every year or whenever you get red envelopes, um, you can save it up, recycle it, and make a pretty art by yourself. There's much more different shapes that you can think of. Be creative. And hope you enjoy this video and happy Lunar New Year, West Region. Thank you.